order from chaos. A valued saying by a very particular group of people. However, they create the chaos. Then they come and save the day. What's crazy to me is the public is so sheepish and naive to accept what's in the news. Predictive Programming 101 make the population more accepting of planned future events. Ask yourself, why do they want you to vote so badly? Google's website logo is about voting. YouTube did the same thing. You have ridiculous fake Reddit posts of 100-year-old frail grandmas wearing a mask. Thumbs up, make sure you vote. This shit is so ridiculous, it's funny. If my 92 year old mom could take time to vote, we can and we must all vote. Every celebrity, every social media influencer wants you to vote. And we already made a video last week on why voting doesn't matter, but people really don't think. Same with what's going on in the world. Do you genuinely believe the government suddenly cares about your health when one in three people in America are obese, one in four people die from a heart attack or stroke, and the world has to lock down for everyone's safety? Let me get this straight. The government poisons the food, the air, the water, but now they care about your health. They want to keep you safe. As long as you don't see them pour some noxious green chemical into your soup, it's perfectly fine. As long as people are convinced at face value, an illusion is created. Yeah, duh. I know McDonald's is bad for you, but I don't realize it rots my brain to the point where I believe anything I see on TV. Fucking morons. What's really aggravating is the predictive programming. The media telling you what's going to happen, what to expect before it happens. It's absolutely preposterous. How the hell does the media know there's going to be a second wave? How the hell did the media know seven months ago this was the new normal? Man, they started using that phrase awfully quickly because they're writing the script. They aren't psychic. They aren't so educated and knowledgeable that they can predict this. The script has been written for many, many hundreds, if not thousands of years, longer than I've been on this planet. We've had the staged BLM protests, which, by the way, I completely exposed on my channel and no one seemed to care. You know, in a way, the BLM stuff is the most obvious, planned, fake movement I've witnessed firsthand, you know, that I've been old enough to identify. You know, the new Wi-Fi towers and that type of stuff is more conspicuous. But the BLM stuff was such blatant divide and conquer tactics, staged nonsense. Same thing with what's going on with the election. Now this past week, there's been a ringing in my ear. It's about the election violence. Election violence. Election violence is going to happen. How do you know there's going to be violence? There's never been a violent election in America as long as I've been alive. They are going to commit the violence themselves. Oh, what a surprise. Just like they were dropping off pallets of bricks during the BLM protests some months back, they're doing the same thing again. You could take a brick and do whatever you want with it if you need to. <laughs> You could take a brick and do whatever you want with it if you need to. Take a brick, take a brick, take a brick and do whatever you want with it if you need to. <laughs> and that's one of the funniest things. It's a subreddit whose bricks are these and it was actually banned promptly for violating Reddit's rules. You know, the slightly higher IQ people were posting the random pallets of bricks on social media, you know, exposing that some type of special interest group is planting destructive devices, therefore supporting the violence and protests. You know, this isn't organic. It's not a real protest. It's staged to incite chaos, to justify more rules and actions to be taken against the general public. Why the risk of election violence is high? As the presidential election nears, the risk of violence appears to be growing. Increasingly heated presidential rhetoric, political polarization, 
COVID-19 related anxiety, mobilization and counter-mobilization related to Black Lives Matter protests, and other concerns all pose risks for election security and public safety. You know what really gets me? Every single thing this article stated as a risk for violence is something the government orchestrated and made up themselves. The political dog and pony show, fake. Everything's fake. Stress from a fake illness used to blanket the side effects of radiation poisoning from new Wi-Fi infrastructure and those oh-so-real BLM protests that seem to be immune to illness. I guess if I just carry a sign around that says BLM, I won't get sick. The biggest wild card, unfortunately, is the President of the United States himself. He has the power to ease the threat or to exacerbate polarization. Equally important, if violence breaks out, the President must strongly condemn it even if he's on the losing end of the election. Win or lose, President Trump must work with state and local officials to ensure that the full power of the law is used to nip violence in the butt and prevent it from from escalating. Unfortunately, his track record so far suggests he might make things worse, not better. <laughs> As if the president isn't a puppet. This is why they need people to believe in the voting illusion. Because if people realized Trump isn't a good guy, that he was just put there by the globalist elites as a puppet, they would realize he's guiding the public to do everything the elite want them to do. Whatever happens, it's the elite's plan. If it's in the news, if it's in the media, it's to guide the masses, the sheep, straight off the cliff. Guns, protests, and elections do not mix. Conflict experts see rising warning signs. With election day less than a week away, anxiety, distrust, and suspicion are running high. Activists and extremists on both the right and left are worried the other side will somehow steal the election, and they're making plans for what to do if they believe that's happening. As if people give half a shit. You can, they can't even convince people to go out and vote. You think people are going to fight each other if, if their side doesn't win? Who is they? Are we referring to the plans of the elite people in charge of all the fake protests? There has never been a point in recent American history where any sort of protest happened over presidential debate. Why would it be different now? Why would it suddenly happen? Every single thing they do plays a twisted role in their crooked ass agenda. You know, is this a ploy to completely dismantle and destroy small businesses? You know, make sure everyone is sitting inside, ordering food from Domino's and every item they need from Amazon because it's too dangerous to go outside. You know, the family owned businesses that are even left won't be in another few months. But that's exactly what the global elite want. They need everyone broke, destitute, and hungry before their plan, order from chaos, is enacted. Another Reddit post really just hit the nail on the head. Does all the talk about unrest after the election feel like a self-fulfilling prophecy? And I bet you could find hundreds of articles promoting the same fear-mongering, violence, oh, what's gonna happen, protest, civil unrest, duh, duh, duh. Keep people in a state of fear, panic, negativity, maintain control, continue the plan script, you know, is this the point where they're actually gonna stimulate the chaos, usher in martial law, who knows? Uh, you know, we watched some of the presidential election stuff last night, you know, it's about midnight recording, so I don't know if the results came out yet, but my guess is that there's going to be a lot of back and forth. They're going to delay posting the results as soon as possible. It's going to be like, oh, well, Biden wins. Oh, wait, no, no, it was Trump. We had a recount. Trump wins. Whatever they do, the point is it's to incite as much chaos as possible, as much disruption, as much divide and conquer. Whatever they do, you can guarantee it's going to be used to manipulate the public in a way that fits their agenda. You know, there's some theories that they're going to give it to Biden because everyone actually voted for Trump and then they're going to off Biden and Kamala is going to be in charge and usher in the nonsense. Who knows what's going to happen? Regardless of what is on the stage, we know what their end goal is. 
and it's not in the interest of human beings. So thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully this gets out there somewhere, although unlikely, considering uh, how things have been going. Uh, but if you guys could please just you know, share the video on social media, leave me a comment down below, like the video, and if you guys do want to support me, hopefully before the world ends, we can get a farm, start cutting up some cows, some pigs, some chickens, get you guys high quality dairy and eggs. Um, let's make it happen.